Welcome back to Management Decision Tools. In this section, we will discuss an example of assignment problem uh, using Rocky Electronics. Rocky Electri uh, Electrics Electronics pays his subcontractors a fixed fee plus mileage for work. That's very nice. So on a given day, contractor is faced with three electrical jobs and Rocky Electrics will reimburse them. There are, these are the distances, right? So these are the distances uh, to be sort of uh, covered by the contractor to go to the project site to do and Rocky is going to be nicely reimbursing them for the mileage. So that's nice. All right. That's distance. That's the distance. So uh, how should the contractors be assigned? Because Rocky will say, Westside, Federated, you do this, you do that. So Rocky has the authority, ability to assign. So it's an assignment problem because we just use the word assign. But the idea is to minimize total mileage cost. Really? Not really. Not really. Huh? But we don't really want to minimize the total distance covered by the subcontractors per se. Not in its crude form. Uh, but the idea is more to borrow the distances covered as a proxy to reduce our total cost. So it does make sense to assign in such a way to minimize the total cost reimbursed by Rocky. Doesn't matter who paid to which contractor, but it's all coming up from the same pocket, right? So we want to minimize that total amount uh, by taking advantage of the mileage, right? Assuming, of course, is, this, uh, is that the, the reimbursement rate is the same for all contractors for all projects. Now, suppose if a is premium luxury hotel, you know, B is uh, residential housing, you know, and C is some kind of a student dormitory kind of uh, work. So likely the mileage rates might not be the same yeah, because of real uh, cost involved before you enter into a luxury hotel uh, building site you might want to be extra clean or whatever it is you know so there are extra costs and steps involved so the rates might not be the same in that if that's the case we would have to convert all the mileage to actual costs before we uh, enter all the constants into our lp model but for now assuming that the rate is the same which is of no concern to us we are interested in asking the the questions right the 12 questions should we assign project A to Westside, Federated, Goliath, and you know, so on. So since this is a standard assignment problem, we don't try to waste more time by thinking from scratch, right? So this is an assisting network diagram and definitely it is con um, confirming that this is an assignment problem. So we whip out the assignment template and customize it, localize it change the wordings to contractor I, not uh, agent I, change the task to uh, project because it matches this scenario, and minimize the overall cost one agent or one contractor has one constraint, one task, or in this case one project has one constraint, and the projects have to be attended to. Subject to binary and non-negativity. All right, so this entire uh, model is flashed out very rapidly. That has to be kept in mind because the whole point of going through all this discussion is to have done it now so that you quickly can flash out very rapidly in future when, the, when similar problems are encountered. And what happens when we solve it? Well, uh, let's look at our actual Excel. So in this actual Excel, uh, again, the objective function is a sum product of the coefficients, the miles with the yes, no settings, the ones and zeros of the decision variables. Yeah. So likewise, this is a horizontal sum less than equal to one and a vertical sum equal to one, just like the ECMA example that we discussed in transportation problem. So just quickly setting the solver all right, and adding the decision variables to be binary because the model says so. 
and ensuring that we don't have ignore integer constraints, then we are really solving a binary model. And in this case, solver found a solution that says A is to go to federated, B is to go to universal, C is to go to west side. Leaving uh, who? Goliath has nothing to work on. Goliath has nothing to work on. And suppose if we remove the binary, okay, and solve it again, we find that we also found a solution, right? And and even if we start from scratch, from blank, uh, solver can still find it, even though we maybe forgot or we purposely not add in the binary solution uh, constraint. In this case, it does not mean that therefore binary is optional. Remember the model did include binary upfront. We think that the decision variables are binary. Here we are just a little bit of lucky because of the coefficients. They're all nice round integers, etc. etc. So there's no guarantee that we will always be uh, getting nice zero and one numbers if you don't put in the binary constraint. Alright, so as a good uh, habit, good practice, we should always include what the model says. Because model does the thinking, here we do the solutioning, the numerical number crunching. So uh, back to the slide, we'll see that um, this is the decision to be to be uh, announced by Rocky Electronics and therefore enjoying Rocky will enjoy the minimum cost total cost guaranteed okay so there's no other assignments that will do better so this is very definitely a very good um, application because we will have assignment and scheduling a lot uh, in our business lives 